Welcome to the application delivery how-to video series. My name is Charlie Gutierrez, and today we're going to be looking at how to create an HTTP app with content switching in Avi. Now, if we take a look at the workflow in this first slide, we can see the client is on the left-hand side. It makes a GET request for index.html. So that request arrives at the load balancer and is then load balanced to one of the application servers within the application pool on the right-hand side. The client then makes a second request for demo.png. It's doing a GET request as well. This arrives at the service engine, and this is then, again, load balanced to one of the application servers within the application pool on the right-hand side. Now, in this next slide, we've implemented content switching. So let's see how that workflow differs. We see the first request is still the same. The client is making that initial GET request for index.html. That arrives at the service engine, and again, that flow is the same. It gets load balanced to one of the application servers within the application pool. This time, when the client makes that second request for demo.png, it arrives at the service engine, but then hits the content switching rule that we have in place. This basically tells the request, OK, this needs to go to the images pool instead of the application pool. So the workflow to the back end is that request will be content switched to that images pool and to one of the images server within the images pool. So now, how do we implement this in Avi? Let's take a look. So here we are at the virtual service page. We can see that I've named this virtual service content switching VS. If we highlight this, we can see some of the basic properties about the virtual service. We can see what the virtual IP is. We can see that it's listening on port 80. We can see the service engine that is placed on. We can also see over here on the right hand side that this is tied to the application pool. So now how do we implement that content switching that we described in the slide? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click this pencil right here at the top right. We're then going to go to policies, HTTP request, and click this plus sign to make a new request policy. So I need to give this rule a name. I'm going to give it something meaningful, something that will probably make it easy to troubleshoot in the future. So I'm going to call this content switching images rule. Now I need to add some match criteria. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to match requests that come in for images and I want an action to happen based off of that. So what I'm going to select is I'm going to select path and for criteria, I'm going to say ends with. Now right here, I'm going to define a couple custom values. I want to match. I know I at least have two different image types in my backend app. I know that I have um, PNG and I have SVG. So I'm just going to add those two values here because I'm, I'm basically saying if the path of the request ends with say .png or .svg, then I want you to do something. So let me go ahead and add PNG, and I'm going to add another match for SVG. So now I need to select the action. What do I want to do? I want to content switch. I want to content switch to a pool, and I want to content switch to the images pool. I created this pool earlier, but this basically just has my images servers within it. So we'll go ahead and save that rule. Now let's try to access this app. So we can see that we've got to this main index.html page. We can see that this image is loaded. I believe this image is a PNG. So let's go back to the virtual service page. Let's take a look at the logs. So looking at the logs here, we see this is the initial request for that index.html. We see my client made the request. We see this was load balanced to a server within the applications pool. Right above that, we see the request for demo3.png. So if everything's working properly, we should see some content switching going on in this request. So if I open this up, we see the request from my client. And if we look down here, we actually see that this hit a request policy rule, that content switching images rule. And if we look at the pool that was selected, this actually went to the images pool. So looking at this workflow, we can see that when the image was requested, it actually was content switched to that images pool. Now I have another tab here on this website. If I go to images, I believe this will pull up my SVG images. So now my browser should have just done that query, not only for this images HTML page, but also for these SVG images. So let's go back and take a look and see that workflow. So here is that request for images.html. See, my client made the request. There was no policy that was hit, so that went to the application pool. That's expected. Now we have these two SVG requests. If we pop these open, we can see client made the request, and client hit that content switching images rule. The request was sent to the images pool. Perfect. 
if we look at demo2.svg, the exact same workflow. So really taking a look at this, you can get a good idea of how easy it is to implement something like content switching in Avi. So this brings us to the end of our demo. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'd also like to invite you to please check out our other exciting videos within the application delivery how-to series.